All right, guys, so we're doing the, the intro before we do the reveal, if that makes sense. Ground Cruiser, original paint, original rust, sat 18 months in someone's garage. He picked it up from a bloke who had it a long, long time in his garage, and he used to take it to the VW shows and that kind of thing. Pretty rare bike. Pleased to ha have it on my channel and show you guys what it's all about. Um, a quick jump by about four weeks. I pretty much secured a bike for Christmas. It's the worst bike I've ever, ever seen. Complete car crash of a bicycle. And it'll be something completely fascinating to try and bring it back to life. That'll be coming up for Christmas, between Christmas and New Year. Some content for that six-day period. And I'll be looking forward to getting that here and getting on with it. Right, let's crack into the outro, or the video. And um, we'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Ground Cruiser, I love it. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, we are in Kings Lynn, um, getting another project. And this one, I think, is gonna be good. I'm gonna get a coffee and uh, crack on with a journey. Some fun facts about Kings Lynn whilst we're here. Kings Lynn facts on the left or right. Right, this project we are picking up. Hang on, uh, Costa. Costa Coffee, not sponsored. Um, it was. It comes from the 1980s or 1970s, probably 80s, I guess. Uh, it isn't a rally, but it looks like a chopper. Um, it shared some of the features from a Mark One chopper. So, for example, um, rally people bought them to strip the parts for Mark Ones, a um, seat, a sissy, a springs, the handlebars. Um, one photograph on eBay, one photograph, and not a best description, but I hit bike now, cheap, cheap bike, and um, yeah. I've done a bit of research on it, uh, not a lot going on with search in terms of research, and um, not a lot on YouTube, or well, nothing on YouTube regarding it, so um, hang on. Yes, fingers crossed, it should be a good one. Um, all being well. Hi, my lovely How can I help? Yeah, can order please just a um, a americano, please. Make americano, any milk? Yeah, hot milk, please. Uh, two sugars. White or brown? Uh, white sugar. Thank you. Yeah, anything else? And that's all. Thank you. Cheers. Cool. Any mince pies today? To say thank you. No, I can't eat mince pies until uh, uh, until the middle of um, December, unfortunately. Uh, no worries. Come here. Thank you, cheers. Mince pies is November. <laughs> Do you want any mince pies with your coffee? No, I don't. I'm just eating a packet of um, flaming hot mum for lunch. You know, guys, I will catch you when I get there. And I might take a couple of photographs when I get there, but ultimately, it is a really, I thought it was cheap. I thought it was cheap. Bear in mind, a seat sells for 80 quid. Um, I'm pretty much bought a whole bike for that, to be fair. A um, little bit more, you know, but um, yeah. Nice bike. There's not a lot on YouTube, nothing on YouTube. I've done a, um, a quick Google search on YouTube. Nothing on um, on YouTube. Nothing regarding them online, on a forum. Just apparently they come from China. Um, some geezer apparently, it's all apparently because I read it online. Um, some geezer, he um, bought in uh, two batches in the UK um, in the 2000s, early 2000s, to try and boost the sale of the Mark III Chopper, which was never really a great success, was it, a Mark III Chopper? Um, prices of them are now starting to climb, and there's good following regarding them. I love a Mark III Chopper, I would, I really would. But ultimately, it is um, a good little bike. But anyway, I'll see you when I get there. I'm get my coffee, and um, we'll crack on. Cheers. Right, we are back now in the garage. It's about a week after I picked it up, and there it is behind me, a ground cruiser. I'll turn this around and show you it. Let's do this. 
ground cruiser. Um, right, so you can see it's got similar lines to a Mark I Ruddy Chopper. The sissy and the springs and the clamps and the seat. There's all the right dimensions to a Mark I Chopper. A lot of these apparently were stripped for parts for the Mark I. The wheels are very, very rusty, as you can see. Rusty wheels. Mudguard is very rusty. I don't know what, how much of that will come off, but it's got like Mark III brake calipers, that sort of set up. That's a handlebar stem. Handlebars are quite, quite rusty, a bit of Lucozade. Handlebars are, well actually not rusty, they're not too bad to be fair. Some nice chrome work on them. But, uh, headset nuts a bit rusty. Front mud guard. Again, it's fairly pitted. Plan is, is to strip it down. Front wheel. I think will come up, to be fair. But yeah, quick first assessment on it. It's all complete. It's all there. Uh, front brake works. To get it in the car, I just take the front wheel off, which has now made the front brake a bit a bit spongy. That's been the bell for too long, so come that can come off. Gears are all bare. Three, two, one. Let's see that move down there. Does that move? Yeah, you see it, guys. So, bit of WD-40 on that, bit of lubricant. Right, let's clear these bikes out of the way and um, put that, turn it over, put that on that table and um, let's try and get some bits stripped off this cruiser ground cruiser i love it i love it all right let's do this all right first off get a mark two ultraviolet out of the way the mark one horizon blue i love that bike uh and also for and lastly the mark two infrared chopper get them out of the way and then get the, the table cleared get the ground cruiser on its upside down and um we'll crack on yeah, let's do this. And there it is, upside down. Not the most easiest bike to to position because obviously the sissy bar is round, just like the Mark the Mark One chopper. Um, that's the other side of the seat. No rots. That's not broken off from its stem. That's all good. Brake calipers are very much the same as the Mark III chopper. I've not got a Mark III chopper, but I'm guessing that's how they set up like that. Um, that needs reconnecting. I think that's come off from its... There it is. Sit down there. That's come off from its um, brake lever. So that needs to put them back on. But yeah, assessment of the back wheel. Spoke protectors. Got a bit of bubbling here. Bit of bubbling underneath the chrome finish. Um, ground cruiser, there you are. Ground cruiser. So very similar sort of shape. Well, obviously it's the same shape, but very similar sort of design to the Mark II choppers and the Mark I choppers. 
Crank looks a bit funny. Is that Mark III Crank? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad bike to be fair. All original paint. Uh, just off camera, I started to clean up the back wheel. There it is, with a metal drill brush. So that's come up nice. Just um, one of them bad boys. Uh, that's come up nice. Chain tensioners, these were never on. Um, Mark II choppers or Mark One choppers. BMX has had these, Burners had these. So basically you put the back wheel on and you pull the wheel back to make the, the chain nice and tight and they sit in there to pull the chain back. Hence the word chain tensioners. But yeah, reflectors. Well, I know they were Mark III introductions, weren't they? Reflectors and wheels. Mark II's never had them. Brake front block's a bit rubbery, a little bit sticky. Um, that'll free up nice. They just need readjusting. That mud guard's pretty rusty. Like that. That's, but yeah, decent enough bike. Not much to it really. Wheels off, mud guards off. There'll be a little screw somewhere. And here, there it is. Just like a little nut and bolt. There it is on there. Um, yeah, I'll get these wheels off and give it a clean up. I'll try and get that brake adjusted and get that one back on. Um, bit of chrome polish on the sissy bar. Oh, springs a good nick. Nothing's really seized on this one. Tyres look original. Obviously, you need some air on them, but got a nice, decent, sort of like. Stermy Archer, because I think that's Stermy Archer. You see it, guys, in there? You probably can't from this angle, but yeah. Yeah, Stermy Archer. There you are. SH3. Yeah. Yeah, Stermy Archer, free speed hub. So Stermy Archer gears. I think it looks to be there, doesn't it? Um, right. Right, um, so yeah. Some content coming on this next time. The next video on this will be strip down the wheels, get the chrome nice and clean, reassemble it, and hopefully flip it out. Um, the purchase price of this bike was 120 quid on eBay bike now. £20, £15 diesel to pick it up. Went to Kings Lynn, as you know. Um, so, purchase price stands me in at 135 quid. I'll be cleaning up this bike, getting it to the best of my ability, the chrome work, the paint. It doesn't need painting, just needs good polish. And I'll be moving it out again for sale for about 250 to 300 quid. There's not a lot of content on the Ground Cruiser. Hardly any get sold. Hardly any get up for sale. They're a very rare bike. I think, like I said, um, I've done some digging. They all came from China, made them. I think Rally may have sold some parts to the Chinese market for them to build, like the Sturmy Archer, the Sissy, that design. I don't quite know. Um, but yeah. Get it cleaned up, get it rideable, and move it out. One more video on this, and then it'll be up for sale. In the next video, I'll put, I'll be starting to use a email address. So anybody want to email me anything they want to know, um, anything for sale? If you cleared out a shed and you've got a chopper, a rally burner, an old mongoose, a skyway, on these ground cruiser things, a budgie, a tomahawk, a, a, a rally chipper. Anything in your shed that you don't go through the eBay fees and start paying that, give me a message and I'll try and help you out with a price, give you some advice, and hopefully I can buy it. If I can't buy it for you, then I'm happy to help with any advice. Um, yeah. Also, the next video, the next video will go out probably in a couple of days' time. 
I picked up a little bicycle, a little bike. Um, it's a rally and I'll be cleaning it up and giving it away for Christmas. One of you people now will basically have it for nothing for Christmas. Full details about coming up in that video in a couple of days time. Um, I'm done now on this ground cruiser for the time being. Well, just for this video, short video, new projects, reveal my plans and put it out there for you guys to watch and get interested by it. I've never seen a ground cruise on YouTube. I looked for YouTube videos on ground cruiser. There's nothing. So it'd be good to get this sort of content out. Um, remember to, if you haven't already subscribed, I'll appreciate that. And that thumbs up and that like helps out the channel immensely. And yeah, some good stuff coming up on this ground cruiser. So for me and the ultra rare ground cruiser, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bonus clip. Just now filming the second part of the video. Start to clean up that spoke protector and how nice is that chrome work on that. That's like new old stock. Before. After. Make sure you hit a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.